Hi there. The purpose of this video is to provide guidance for tutors who are supervising learners undertaking the Pearson B Tech Level 3 Unit 6 Microcontroller System External Exam. This is an engineering design project. Process and methodology is key to providing the highest probability of success. That's why Pearson have implemented a marking scheme across six activities which add up to a total marks of 80. So what are the six activities? In future videos I will break down and do individual videos against each activity. What we want to do here is give an overall picture. When running a design project, an engineering design project, methodology is key. So how do we provide that process? In the exam document you're given a set task which is a design brief as in a customer created document. And what the task is for the learner is to produce a working automated system that matches what the customer wants. So how do we go about it? We go about it through proper process. The first thing we're going to do is to create a project plan and develop a logbook. That is activity one for 10 marks. The logbook will continue to be developed through all six activities. Then once we have a plan, a written plan, to focus the learner on exactly what tasks need to be achieved and in what order, we then create a design specification which is activity two for nine marks. The design specification breaks down the design brief so that we, the learner can understand exactly what needs to be produced. So it's got details about hardware, it's got details about software, it's got details about the system operation. It could be written as a form of bullet points, it could also be written as a form of state machine. That then leads on to design structure where you detail what hardware components we need, what microprocessor we need and the structure of the code. It's not the detailed code, it's breaking down the instruction set, the code, into a flowchart or pseudocode for example. We, once that's completed, the learner goes on to build the hardware, do detailed coding and provide all the documentation for that, move on to, once that's complete, the system is then tested and results documented. Finally, what the learner will do is provide a video testimony, a three minute video. That's the learner's opportunity to give an overview of the system, as in explain that we have physical components connected to a microprocessor to provide a system. The hardware and the software need to marry together to produce a working system. So the, hard, the hardware is the physical components to do whatever operation is required. So for example, switch a motor on and off, switch a pump on and off, and the software instructions, the code, are there to provide an automated system. There's 80 marks in total. I would advise that every mark, is, every mark counts but exam technique may come into this, so we can see that activities 3, 4 and 6 are the key to providing the highest marks overall. If activities 3, 4 and 6 are documented poorly by the learner, then they will struggle to get pass marks. There will be pass, merit and distinction grading in this exam, Typically in past years, the pass mark may have been lo as low as 20 to 30 marks. And the, the marking will be standardised by Pearson to provide a pass mark which will be different 
for different exams. The video set that will be done will be based on the January 23 exam which was a degreasing machine, effectively a dishwasher. That client brief, the design brief, required that four, a minimum of four requirements had to be met to get maximised points. So for example, what were those minimum requirements? You had to indicate if the door to the degreasing machine is open or closed at any time, indicate which rinsing cycle has been selected, run the DC motor for the pump while the door is only while the door is closed, and indicate that the degreasing machine re rinsing cycle is complete. That was the four, the four minimum elements that the prototype system was required to demonstrate, physically demonstrate through working components. So for example, the pump is simulated by running a DC motor, and that needs to be physically existent, that needs to physically exist to get maximum marks. In order to maximise the marks, and we'll detail it through the pre-individual activities, there are certain marking traits that are looked for. So for example, in activity 2 for the design specification, in order to maximise your marks, then the learner would need to detail to enhance user experiences. So for example, an enhanced user experience would be to provide an LCD screen so that it gives the operator, the user of the system, status information in real time. An example of an unexpected event would be a power cut where the mains power goes off. However, if there's a battery connected to the system, the microcontroller could still operate, for example, from a 9 volt battery. So enhanced user experiences and unexpected events are key to document to maximise your marks. In future videos, I will break down each of the six activities and explain how the learner can maximise their marks. Thank you for watching.